Hello, my name is David Fern, and I'm the director of the Downriver Junior Golf Academy. And you're watching this video, hopefully, the intent of this video is to give you an idea of what to expect for the Operation 36 matches, which are coming up for you. Um, we're going to spend a couple minutes together, and hopefully it'll answer any questions you might have before you get going. The why for our Op 36 matches is really simple. There's a couple reasons why we run the matches. One is to get the kids or the junior golfers on the course. Um, you got to get them on the course. Any junior program that doesn't get a junior golfer on the course is really missing the main thing. It also gives them measurable progress. And if a junior golfer can pass level one and then move on to level two, then level three, then level four, which we'll get into in a minute, they can see themselves progressing and gaining in skill. And really, fun. I mean, it's almost all about fun. We want to get these junior golfers hooked. Uh, at the time of this video, it's uh, kind of coming out. COVID's been going on for about a year, and they really haven't had a lot of stuff to do. And so giving the junior golfers a fun opportunity to get out and be active and play on the golf course, uh, it's, re it's really huge. And so the kids love these matches, and it's really fun. And that's a huge reason why we do these matches as well. A couple skills that you do junior golfers develop when they're playing these Op 36 matches, it's huge for their skill development. Some of the skills that they'll be developing is they'll work on their scoring. Low score wins in golf, and the goal is to shoot the lowest score. They'll get a lot of practice in these matches. They work, they work on playing the course, which we teach them in the academy classes, how to play certain shots, when to play certain shots. And so the practices or the academy classes is when they practice the skill. The Op 36 matches is when they practice it on the course and develop their skills and show off their skills. We work on scorekeeping. This is a huge one. Junior golfers 10 and older keep score. Under, under that, 9 and younger, we're asking that uh, parents or family keep score. Um, and we explain that at the first tee, but basically a junior golfer who's 10 and older will learn to keep score and write it down on the scorecard. They work on etiquette, basically uh, the way you handle yourself on the golf course and etiquette and um, another word for etiquette is basically uh, the way that you behave or, you know, your uh, being able to be quiet when other people hit or being able to stand in a safe place, stuff like that. We work on pace of play. We work on checking in and basically paying for your round of golf before, being to the first tee on time. Um, so, and then we also work on warming up, showing up early to the Op 36 match and getting a warm up in, not just showing up on your tee time. So a couple things, let's dive into these things specifically. On Sundays, the matches are on Sundays and the tee times run from approximately 3 15 p.m. to 5 15 p.m. There's a little bit of wiggle room there, but that basically is the tee times when you start your round, and then you go out there on the golf course for about two hours. You need to be showing up 30 minutes early to the golf course minimum before your tee time. The tee times are emailed out 48 hours in advance in the weekly academy email, which usually comes out on Fridays. And you can always request a tea time asking for an earlier one or a later one around 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. But basically, you need to arrive to downward of your golf course a minimum of 30 minutes before your tea time. And that's for a couple reasons. One, so that you can get your junior golfer can get warmed up and hit a couple balls on the driving range. And two, they can hit a couple putts. But really, a big reason also is so that you can pay your greens fee and your cart fee. This is another skill that families and junior golfers need to develop. Um, starting this year, basically, uh, we used to build in the greens fee and cart fee into the tuition, so you paid for it in your monthly tuition. But we want to basically, now starting this year, we're asking parents to and families, grandma, grandpa, to walk into the pro shop before your junior golfer tees off. Say, hey, I'm playing in the Op 36 match. You're paying for your $15 greens fee for your junior for that day. So it's $15. And also, if you're renting a cart, you pay for that cart fee as well. And that's anywhere between $8 and $16, uh, depending on whether you're sharing a cart or not. Uh, I do recommend that junior golfers walk if they're age 10 and older. I grew up learning to walk, uh, and I built those golf muscles right out of the gate, and walking was no thing after a couple of 
couple cracks at it, maybe two or three rounds. I'd already established the, the stamina, and I want to encourage junior golfers to walk. However, I know it's not always uh, realistic that, you know, especially the younger ones, the seven, eight, nine year olds, they can't always walk all, eight, all nine holes because, you know, it's about a two and a half mile walk. Um, so you can rent a cart if you want, and that's, that's more than fine. I, uh, you know, I totally respect that and uh, we encourage it, especially on the younger ones, but renting carts a great idea, but I always encourage our junior golfers to walk. It's just kind of my personal style. Um, uh, if they're 10 and older, younger ones, and you can definitely rent a cart. I certainly would get that. Anyway, all that to say, a cart fee is a couple extra bucks and you would pay for that when you check in. Uh, so... The driving range balls you don't pay for for your rounds. They're provided on the driving range and they're gonna be out there on the range. So don't buy any balls. Your junior golfer just goes to the driving range and hits some warm up balls. So uh, just know that. Um, for the Sunday matches also, right down here, the coaches will be out there. Uh, there will be one coach that will be on the driving range, basically meeting and greeting the juniors, saying hello and helping them, you know, answer any questions, maybe coaching them up a little on the driving range or putting green, having fun with them. And they'll also help you get to the tee on time because you need to be on the first tee five minutes before your tee time. And that's talking about five minutes at your tee, excuse me, at your tee off location, five minutes before you tee off. So really recapping this, we call it our 35 rule. Arrive to the golf course 30 minutes early. Be on the first tee where you tee off five minutes before your tee time. So if a junior golfer, if you'll see here on the first hole at Down River Golf Course, so for your first up 36 match, the adult tee is way back here on number one at Down River. You don't need to be there five minutes before your tee time. You actually need to walk all the way down the fairway and be right next to the green right here five minutes before your tee time. So if your tee time is four o'clock, you need to be showing up to the golf course at 3.30 minimum and on down by the green, because we play 25 yard holes on our first match, at 3.55 p.m., which is five minutes before your tee time. Regarding the actual UP36 format, I explained this in one of the earlier orientation videos, so I'm gonna briefly move through this, but basically the goal is to get junior golfers to shoot a score of 36 or lower. Junior golfers do not start at the longest tee right here, way back where the adults hit. They start up by the green. Everybody starts their first match at 25 yard holes. And if they, every hole will be 25 yards. So say you get one, two, three, four hits, your ball's in the hole and four on that hole. If you get a four every hole, you shoot a score of 36. And if you shoot 36 or lower, for your next match, you would move back to 50 yards and you would stay at the 50 yard group until you shoot 36 or lower again. Shoot 36 or lower again, you move back to the 100 yard group, level three. And as you can see, there are actually 10 levels in our UP36 program. The kids get really into moving back to each level. So 30 and five, really important rules for our academy. Family and friends, come on out, cheer your junior golfers on. For the academy classes, we ask that family and friends basically are not present. We want the junior golfers focused on learning and getting better at golf. For the Op 36 matches, it's a totally different deal. We want them to cheer on the juniors. It's like a soccer game or base basketball game, especially pre-COVID, where we want everybody out there possible, cheer them on. In fact, if you want, you can caddy for your junior golfer. That's wonderful. Carry their clubs. Sometimes the older junior golfers like to carry their, their own clubs, maybe the 12, 13, 14 year olds. You can work that out with your junior, but please come cheer them on. Awards. Well, one of the main awards is if you shoot 36 or lower from your 25 yard group, you get to move back. That's a great intrinsic reward. But also every time you pass your off 36 match, 36 or lower, you get five skill point chips. That's basically the equivalent of $2.50 at the skill point store. Get you some stuff there. And lastly, 
there's a medalist. Everybody, whoever shoots the lowest score in relation to par gets a medal at the following academy class and a shout out for first place beating all the other juniors. What about weather? We go in almost everything. So it's an outdoor sport. We don't cancel because of rain. We go. The only thing that we do cancel for is lightning. We will never play in lightning. Totally unsafe. We'll pull the kids off the course or just cancel if there's lightning before. We also don't go in smoke. We've seen a little bit of that in the last couple of years. Anything over 150 AQI, that's getting canceled. We go in rain. We go in wind, we go in hot, we go in cold. So prepare your junior appropriately with either water or coat or whatever, because the weather can get a little hot and cold sometimes throughout the year. Most of the time it's pretty good though. As far as walking and scorekeeping, I mentioned this earlier, we encourage but don't force the juniors 10 and older to walk. Um, and the 10 year olds and olders need to keep their own score, but the nine and under they do not keep their own score. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa will keep their score. And we'll show you how to do that in the first match on the first tee. And also, as far as walking nine and under, we certainly understand if you want to get a cart and just pay for that before the round. Again, that's kind of at your discretion. Just a reminder, as we get to the end of our video, goal number one, honestly, is all about fun. These matches, the kids love them. They're really a good time. And so just uh, really kind of try to promote that if they're nervous or if they're excited, whatever their emotion is as a, leading up to the days for the event. Just, uh, you know, junior golfers know that these matches are all about having fun and parents continue to keep that reminder to them as well. You know, just encouraging them to go have fun. So hopefully this gets you ready for your first Op 36 match. Call me or email me if you have any questions. My number is all over the emails that I'm sending you, you guys, including this one. And looking forward to seeing you in our first Op 36 match, and we'll see you soon. Bye.